Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of Swoon, Earth Escape, a platforming game where you play as an alien who has crash landed on Earth, and now your task is to not only recover the pieces of your spaceship, but to also collect your uh, missing crew. I've actually not even finished the first uh, area of this game because this game doesn't control well at all. Uh, when you're running and you stop, you actually slide a good distance, and this also applies to when you're landing and you slide, so avoiding obstacles and doing platforming can get real annoying and real frustrating, actually. Uh, we're gonna head over here. I'm on Jurassic Island. If you look at the upper left there, you can actually see I can switch over to see, like, how far I am to collecting all the ship pieces. If you look at the upper right, I have three uh, hearts, one hit kills you. Uh, checkpoints in the level are way too spread out. Uh, and you have these gems, which you can actually uh, buy stuff here. Little outfits that do different things. So let's see. Can I afford anything? No. But this one looks like it lets you roll. Uh, this one lets you uh, dash in the air. Uh, and this one allows you to uh, spit, uh, swirl in the air, I guess. Uh but I really don't see myself getting any of these because, like I said before, this hasn't been fun to play. It's actually been actively frustrating at points to do anything in. Uh, I, but anyways, this is me. So I'm going to let you know when I st when I let go of the analog stick. Now. That's a really far distance to keep going after letting go. I also don't feel like I'm... I actually feel like my character's... If I, yeah, I don't actually think my character's... Yeah, my character's actually not even standing on the ground. Uh, but anyways... Uh, my goal is to get to the end of this level while collecting uh, ship pieces. I actually have actively started ignoring them because it is not fun to collect them. I didn't see that wall there. Also, you're for some reason collecting peppermint? Never explained. Oh, there's some more health there, but... Gosh, it controls so badly. It's like constant fighting with the controls. Because when you land, you slide, so you are, you're going to see me have... I couldn't even see what I just ran into. Uh, when you see me land, I'm going to be, like, uh, tapping the other direction so I don't just slide off continually, which... Not good in a platformer. Come on. All right, there we go. So I ran into a wall there. Okay, cool. These are platforms that fall down. But yeah, I don't understand the peppermint. And there are enemies. I've been avoiding them. You can jump on some of their heads and some of them not. Uh, the only distinction I've gotten in before was uh, the one that I was not able to jump on had spikes on his head. I don't even know what that is. Nope. So game over doesn't mean much. It just means you restart from the beginning of the level, which... Like I said before, the checkpoints are already way too spread out for some weird reason. Like, I, I really do hate, like, being so down on a game. I understand that video games are hard to make. I will most definitely never one, make one in my life. But we already have so many platformers on uh, the ID at Xbox program that or just on consoles in general or just out in the world that something like this that just has, that feels so bad to play. Eh. Oops, here's a checkpoint, excellent. So, here's a fun thing. What, like, like, how would I know that that's coming from there? There's nothing in the background to like make, like that's just coming through a wall. Oh, awesome. So if I die enough times, I'll actually be sent, oh, I'll actually be sent uh, back. Hey, I got a, uh, Ship part. I got the second one. Definitely not collecting all those. Oh, that's the guy that if you jump on his head, he kills you. But yeah, I've mostly just been running through here just to complete the level. Because I don't want to keep having to replay sections because of the bad platforming. Also, the enemy, like... Variety is so weird. And there's the end of the level. Woo. And then that's your that's your level transition, by the way. N nope. It, it feels like some weird first-time school project. Because, like, when you're crashing in the cutscene, all the aliens... Are, the, 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 all the aliens, by the way, are just recolors of each other. 
and they're all just smiling. Like, no one looks actually upset that they're crashing or anything like that. And again, I don't understand why it's peppermint. Peppermint candies. But yeah, like I said, the the worst the worst part about it is just how bad the platforming feels. Definitely not collecting that because it'd be not worth it. There's also been an in, there was also a section where I was running up a hill and the screen was pulled in so close that I almost didn't see the boulders that were rolling down an angle to hit me. So it would have been a very unf unfair death. Like, there you go. Like, I'm so pulled in that I can't see hazards in front of me. And, hey, all that progress was for nothing because, hey, uh, no checkpoints. This feels like the game, uh, and I've heard this comparison made a lot. This feels like the game that the kid in the background is playing on one of those crime... Uh, crime shows. That it's like, it's not actually a game. It's just like, oh, sit in front of this screen, pretend to be playing a game, and we will post, put something in there. Hey, look, there's a checkpoint. Everything's dark now, and then we're not dark. Okay, cool. Made That made no sense. Well, now I have enough uh, gems to get the Indiana Jones outfit. Like, right now, with how this game has been playing, if I died at this point, I, I would honestly just uninstall the game. Be like, well, whatever. Just not fun. F frustrating to play. Like, if you got rid of this, like, this slidiness for some reason, the game would be a lot better. The platforming isn't amazing, but I think a lot of it's in part to that, like, th like you just slide so far for no real reason. Uh, we will not continue. We're going to go to the store. Oh, so there's more levels here. Whoa, that was weird. All right. Can I not buy you? Oh, so I, I, I have the gems, but I can't get it. All right, cool game. Uh, one of the levels actually had you riding on top of a dino... Nope, I don't want this level. Riding on top of a dinosaur head and doing platforming from it, and I am convinced that there is no actual way to do that section without losing a life. The music stopped? Why? Okay. That menu looked familiar. I can't place it, but... That reminded, that reminded me of the airy menus, where everything's set all the way to off for no reason at all. But yeah, like, it... Oh. It very much feels like a first-time programming class make-a-game sort of thing. Like, oh, this is your... Your, your first time making a game. This is for your final... Final... Make what you can, and if it works, you get to pass, sort of thing. Is there anything over here? Is it just death? I like how it makes the same splash sound. It splash effects as water, which it's probably just water retextured. But yeah, anyways, I am ZeroJD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said before, there are so many uh, platformers out there right now. Uh, I want to point out I didn't even touch him that time. That one that controls like this... Is just and like there are more levels of this and I and I, I can't I, and it's gonna be cruel I can't see anyone going through and beating this entire game I actually think I checked the achievements and 
most of them, I think the only one that had people who had it was like get the lowest amount of gems and then none of the other ones had gotten anyone had achieved them. But anyways, have a nice day. Goodbye.